Welcome back to the good old boys channel. I have something pretty cool to show you guys today, so here we go. Okay guys, so this is my TRX4 Sport in the box here. I've started assembling it, as you can see on the bench here. Um, now, of course, this isn't the original audio for this video. My phone case messed it all up, but basically I'm showing you guys all the parts we have here. Plastic parts, we got some wheels and tires here, the body, uh, more stuff in the bag there. You can see the chassis rails if you look closely. We've got bearings and gears and things all over the table. The manual looks great on the inside color and everything. Um, again, more bearings and gears. That's a transmission, the axle, and um, I've got both axles built so far. This thing's going together really well. The instructions are great. Um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and build the whole thing and then bring you guys back after. Okay, so the TRX Force Port is finally 100% put together and I'm ready to show you guys. Okay, so here's a quick little glimpse of the truck. As you can see, it's fully built. There's a couple things I want to talk about first and then we'll come back to the truck. Okay, so like I said, there's a couple things I want to talk about here real quick. Uh, there is four main things that I found that made it easier to uh, kind of put the truck together. And this kit is set up very, very well, so don't be afraid to put it together. Um, from what I've heard, I've never built any other RC kits, but from what I've heard, there's a lot worse kits out there. And so far, Traxxas, as usual, um, has the best stuff. So the four main things that helped me put this truck together were part orientation, which you can see in the manual, screw sizes, um, bearing sizes, and separating the different sizes of screws and bearings. So those four things, you can get this truck put together very, very easy. I wanted to mention that uh, I've got somewhat of a good mechanical background. Um, I mean, I've been into full-size car, truck engine, and transmissions, things like that. So stuff like this is kind of like second nature to me, especially if I've taken this stuff apart before. Now the TRX4, this will be my first TRX4 truck, so putting this thing together was a first for me. The reason why I mentioned that I got a higher mechanical knowledge skill set kind of is just because I did actually put a few things together wrong on this thing. Like I said, I kind of just rely on common sense knowledge to put things together like this, so I partially followed the manual and partially did stuff on my own. Well, that's always a good idea. I'm being sarcastic. So obviously the point here is just to follow the manual. As experienced as you or I may be, there's still always chances to mess up. So just follow the manual. Now, as far as the design of the truck, um, I'm like everybody else. I was into the axial trucks and stuff, and I still am. But uh, when the Traxxas came out, I was very, very skeptical and kind of just like, man, this thing's a piece of junk, whatever. Over time, these things have really stood the test of time, I guess. Um, for example, Kevin Tailboat, or however you say his name, he has one of these and it goes like 70 miles an hour and he just rolls it over and over and over again. And they're a really, really strong truck. So, but I guess my point is here is as I was putting the truck together, overall, the entire truck is a really, really good design everything seems really solid now with all that being said this truck there's also a few things that i don't like about it in typical traxxas fashion things are buried on top of each other there's just certain things that you can't get to for example the steering servo like on an axial it'd be easy peasy to take the steering servo in and out change the servo horn while the servo's in the truck on a trx4 if you've ever had to deal with that you're dealing with really really bad angles to get the servo horn on and off, you pretty much have to take the entire front axle out just because of how horrible um, it is. The servo literally is sitting right on top of the pumpkin of the front axle in the chassis, so there's no getting around it with a wrench or anything. You literally have to take the front axle out or down, take the shocks off, something um, which you wouldn't normally have to do. So that's one thing about Traxxas that I just still don't like they have stuff that's buried on top of each other all right so that's enough of me blabbing on and on we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at the truck okay so here's the truck itself as you guys can see looks really good this is kind of like a primer gray this is the other side and we'll get some nice close shots for you guys
Okay, so the obvious accessories that you see on the TRX4s are the two fuel tanks and the uh, mat tracks. And there actually are two mat tracks. They're usable. Um, you have to take them off with screws. Every, all the accessories are screwed on. So it's kind of nice because they don't fall off. But if you wanted to use the mat tracks, it'd be kind of a problem if you're out on the trail. A couple things that you don't realize when you're first looking at a TRX4. There are actually accessories on the inside. There's a fire hydrant. There's an axe and a shovel in there. Those are actually removable. And there's also a high lifter jack. We've also got the snorkel here and the faux winch under the body here. A couple things I didn't realize also about the TRX4 Sport. Again, this is on a symbol kit, obviously, but um, it does not come with the fenders, front or rear. Um, of course, you can get those for like $20 on the internet, so not a big deal. And it comes with a two-speed capable transmission, but you have to add gears to actually make it a two-speed and the servo and whatever else goes with it. Otherwise, it's a complete TRX4 truck. Um, I kind of did expect this single speed transmission. I did not expect uh, to not get fenders, which, like I said, is totally fine. Um, this is the bottom. Again, typical portals. Like I said, everything else about the truck is standard TRX4 equipment. Same shocks, same chassis, same everything. A couple of the uh, good design features are the axles here, you can see just how shallow of an angle or how docile the um, angles are on the drive shaft. I don't know if you guys could see or not, but again, the angles of the drive shafts are amazing, um, very shallow. What that's gonna do is the uh, pin in the axle here is actually gonna last a whole lot longer because it's not sliding as much in the yoke. Um, whereas like if you took this and ran it the same exact way as an axial, uh, you'd notice that the pin on the axial would wear out faster, and that's just because of the drive shaft angles. It's just how it is. Another thing I really liked is how they attached the portals. So the portals actually have like eight different, don't mind my thumb here, I've got Sharpie on it, but they've got like a bunch of different screws in them, so that's nice. They're bolted together securely, but also, like I said, how they attach. You got two screws that actually run along the length of the truck. And I do realize there are three screws going this way in there, but um, that's after this plastic piece slides onto the axle. So the axle is kind of supporting um, those three screws that are this way. So there's one more design feature I really wanted to talk about here real quick, and that's how they mount the motor in the truck. So you've got this cover with three screws. You got one, two, and three screws, all easy to access. You take this cover off and then you've got the motor here which is mounted to a plate now the plate is clamped in there by this cover so once you take the cover off the motor and the plate come up out of there completely and all you do is adjust your motor gear mesh on the plate it's a lot simpler than it sounds and trust me if you don't know what i'm talking about once you get one of these things you will see what i'm talking about and you will really appreciate how they have designed this part of the truck. Makes it really easy to adjust the gear mesh and take the motor and all that stuff in and out, change your pinion, whatever you wanna do. It's super easy to access all that stuff right there. I am gonna have a review and run video of this thing coming at some point on the channel. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description box below. I've got lots of other crawler videos down there, including mudding videos. I've got a couple epic edits, and I've also got a completely custom build that's like a one-off build, welded together, full metal. It's really cool, so go check it out again in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Woo! It's all about humanity.